I'm, I'm out with that. So this is going to be a go with what you got meal. Um, yes, it's the Olive Garden chicken pasta dish, um, but I'm going to just go with what I've got to kind of make it. So we've got a, a bottle of the 16 ounce Olive Garden Italian dressing. I'm going to put, recipe doesn't call for it, but I am going to put about a half of an onion in there. About a tablespoon of this minced garlic. Um, I don't have the shredded uh, Parmesan cheese. I forgot to get any. So I'm going to use probably about a half a cup of this Parmesan cheese. And then at the end, when everything's all done, then I'm going to add some shredded, um, that Italian blend cheese. And I'll add, I don't know, probably about half the bag. And then it calls for one brick of cream cheese. And roughly three and a half to four cups of chicken broth. This is my homemade chicken broth. I canned that last year. And that's more of a bone broth. And so it's going to have more nutrition in it. And then um, this is about... A little over a pound and a half of chicken. The recipe kind of calls for a pound and a half to two pounds, every one that I've seen. I just pulled this out of the refrigerator and it still froze. I bought this yesterday and it still froze. So that's okay because I am cooking this in my crock pot. I mean, in my instant pot. So uh, let's go ahead and get started and I'll kind of tell you what I'm doing as I go along. So first of all, let's go ahead and cut our onion up. There's my onion. Let's go ahead and put this in the Instapot. Now about a tablespoon of this minced garlic. Then we're gonna do a cup of this Parmesan cheese, or a half a cup. We're gonna do half a cup of this Parmesan cheese. One jar of this 16 ounce Olive Garden dressing. There's the chicken. <laughs> it still froze. Teaspoon of granulated garlic and a teaspoon of granulated onion. I'm not going to at the moment, but I'm going to put my pasta in here dry. I know some people prefer not to do that. Some people prefer to do that. Some recipes calls with this to have a pre-cooked pasta and some don't, you just throw your, you know, it's, if you want a little bit easier dish, you just throw your pasta in there without cooking it first. But I am adding this quart of chicken broth. Now for right now, I'm not adding any extra salt or pepper. And I'll tell you why, because this, when I canned this, I had accidentally left some jalapeno, um, seeds and stuff in there so this got a little hotter than what i had intended it's not too terribly hot but it was hotter than i intended and then i can't remember how salty this was so i'm going to wait to the end and taste it and then if i need more salt or pepper then i'll add it so what i will do next since my chicken is frozen i'm going to go ahead and put this in my instant pot and cook it for on high for about 15 minutes when it's finished i'm going to pull the chicken out i'm going to chop it up into smaller pieces and put it back in here. And then that's when I'll add my pasta. But for now, let's go ahead and stick this. Put on the lid. And I'm also gonna wait and add that brick of cream cheese after I get my chicken unthawed. So we are doing pressure. It's on normal. I'm gonna back that down to about 15. That should give it enough to just unthaw it where I can cut it. There it goes. Forgot to mention, if you want to pre-cook your pasta, then do not add the chicken broth, just the, the dressing, but not the chicken broth if you're going to pre-cook your pasta. This has been naturally releasing the, the pressure for about three minutes now. I want to go ahead and get this chicken on out. So I am going to I went ahead and put it on vent to let it finish uh, quick release it. But because I was pressing on that somewhat and kind of toggling it, I guess you could call it, 
um, it's not like blowing up and you know spattering everywhere and getting kitchen all dirty. <laughs> so just as soon as this unlocks, the little thing goes down. Then I'll unlock it and we will cut up our chicken. Okay, so I'm carefully going to get this chicken out and cut it up. Oh, well, this chicken is done. So I'm just going to chop this chicken up in little chunks and then put it back in the Instant Pot and I will be back in just a minute. Next, I'm going to take a full 16 ounce box of this Rotini. A lot of the recipes, they use the, well, I forgot what it's called, but I don't have any of that. And like I said, this is a uh, use what you've got kind of meal or kind of a take on this meal. So we're just going to do this Rotini. I'm dumping the whole box in there. And then now we're going to take a brick of cream cheese and lay it in there. So what I need to do now is cancel it because it's still from a while ago where I said it earlier. So we're going to cancel that. Then we're going to come back to this pressure cook and on the normal. And we're going all the way down to four. Four minutes is all we need to fix this. Then once I... Um, we come back to this if it's a little thinner than what we want there it goes meaning that there's a little more liquid in there than what we want then i'm going to make a slurry of uh, cornstarch and cold water and pour in here and then let it cook down just a little bit and that will thicken it up if i need it um we'll see so anyway i'll meet you back here in four minutes this has been naturally uh releasing pressure for 20 minutes now so i don't think there's going to be much if any well there might be some Now I'm going to add about half a bag, but I'm going to do a little bit at a time, a half a bag of this Italian style and I've got you all fogged up. But about half a bag of this and we'll just do a little at a time. <coughs> that way it can get all good and melty. See, it's pretty thick. I, I'm not going to have to put any cornstarch in there. That cheese helps thicken it up. Just let me give you a pointer on if you're cooking with an Instant Pot, if you're new to Instant Pot making, uh, do not cook with the cheese on, on any kind of a pressure. Slow cooking is fine, but any kind of pressure. Now, I've done that Parmesan, that hard parmesan like you know that craft or whatever that was okay and even with that I, I thought i probably shouldn't have done that but it, it didn't stick but if if i had put this cheese in here and then tried to do the the pressure on it even though it was four minutes it would have stuck and been awful so word of warning <laughs> look at that oh that looks so good I'm going to sprinkle just a little bit more in here. And that's about half of this bag. So probably about a cup. No, cup and a half because this is a three cup bag. And then I'm going to keep this on the keep warm setting. That way when my family gets home, then they can, it'll still be warm for them. And I'm going to get me some out. My, 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 look at that. That's good. That's some good stuff. Especially if you like Italian or pasta or any kind of cheesy pasta chicken that kind of thing you'll like this so it's a good recipe and i just went with what i had and it still turned out good so i hope you enjoyed the video if you did give it a thumbs up i hope y'all have a blessed rest of your day and i'll talk to you in the next one bye hey if you like this video you may want to check out my previous video or my previous series talk to you soon